Now I got my uh, drip system all finished up for the most part. I got it run outside to a another five gallon bucket that I pressurized with a pump. I showed that in my other video. But I uh, put a filter in there and a catch. It's got a screen filter inside of there. It's not the one that you use for air. That's way too fine. So that's going to catch any big stuff and a water trap as well. And I've got it feeding in right now into my bucket and it's I tried it for a little bit for five gallons and it uh, it keeps up pretty good it actually feels faster than it drains on just a gravity siphon so a little deal here I wanted to show you so to monitor my level I just got a piece of this same tube and cut it and then split it and just slip it over that then I can slide it up and down and use it for a marker and check my level so when I'm running the drip feed as it drains out I can watch and see if this keeps up with it and it does as I'm running it it'll gradually fill up so I can just use that as a marker to see whatever or to time how long I run how much I use but yeah that's I got a little drain here to drain the any water haven't got any noticeable water yet but I do see a little bit of sediment in there but what I'm doing now is I build a another nozzle burn nozzle I wanted to show you so what I got first of all I, I got this piece of wire and this is my one inch uh, black pipe that's where my air comes out through my blower and then inside of that is a piece of quarter inch copper tubing so the problem I've been getting is it runs down one side and drips it doesn't ever drip down the center because it's too hard to get that copper tube to to drip so what I'm going to do is put couple of little bends in this wire so I can slide it inside the copper tube and then it will stay and then I can bend the end of this wire towards the center so and then here's the new nozzle I'm gonna try it's just a coupler and I've got some reducing bushings from one inch down to quarter inch then I'm gonna have that wire stick through there and then I drilled these holes on the side to blow some air out and I kind of drilled them on an angle so they blow out and down so I'll get this all put together and fire it up I can do this one-handed anyway that'll go up on there like like that and I'll pause back in when I get it all together all right got that all put together you see the wire sticking out the end there got my stainless steel bowl about a oh, tablespoon of oil in there used waste motor oil I'm gonna set that in there and I use just a little bit maybe a couple of tablespoons of uh, charcoal lighter fluid to get it to go take off so maybe not even tablespoon there but so I'll do that and then I'll turn my drip system on and get it warmed up and uh, I'll pause back in when I get it warmed up up to operating temperature okay it's been about oh a minute or so 
I got it lit. Man, I don't know if you can tell or not, but that wire, can't see it on the video, but you can see the wire in there. That oil's dripping right down the center. Works great. So let it get up to temperature. Flip the blower on. See how it works. Okay, I got the blower on. I got it a little restricted right now. Kind of hard to see through this glass, I'm sure. Maybe I can open the door and peek in there. I don't know if that'll help either, but... I'll let it get warmed up and then I'll pause back in. Okay, I got it up to temperature now. This is about where I run it normally. Maybe just a little bit less, but this... This gets my stove toasty hot. It's just right. Once everything's warmed up, this is where I run it. Keep the temperature where I like it. Uh, you might be able to hear the blower in the background that I'm running. But sorry about that. But uh, One thing I noticed, if you're building one of these, maybe something to consider is the stainless steel bowl I have in there right now is an 8 inch and I had a 10 inch in on my first one and the problem I had then was not getting the equal flame all the way around the bowl it would dance to one side or the other and that that along with the oil dripping inconsistent in the center so this is an 8 inch and it seems to be doing a lot better I may consider going down to a 6 inch help keep that flame all contained in there uh, I think that's that's something to consider when you're building I would say start with a six inch I think uh, you'd be fine with a six inch I think eight inch might be just a little bit too big but if I get a six inch bowl I'll make a video of that but for right now I'm satisfied with the eight but this is on low, so I'm going to show you the drip rate. If you can see it through there. Try to get an angle, maybe. There you go. Okay, this is all on low, so I'm going to crank it up. And I'm not going to crank it up as far as it will go, but I'm going to crank it up to show you what it can do, I guess. So. I'll get this into a run. Give that a little time to reach the stove through all of the hose and the copper tubing. While we're waiting for that to do that, Maybe I can point up in here and see my float system working. Just about ready to shut off. So I've got my little indicator right here. That's where it was when I started. So it's increased. It's filled more than it's used. So I'll raise that up just a little bit. I want to I want to see where the float shuts off and put a mark on here so I can visually see it from a distance. So another thing I forgot to tell you is I got that uh I'm not sure how that glare is going to show up. But that new nozzle I put on there is uh 2 inches from the bottom the space between the bowl and the end of the nozzle is two inches. So 
So it's starting to increase there. See the flames building up, getting thick. Maybe give it a little more. Maybe I won't. Turn that down and see how my dill is filled up. I'm just going to shut it off. Let that drain down. It's a sealed system, so that's what's nice about this. It, it's not going to overfill and run over anywhere because I've got it all sealed. So, increase my blower a little bit. You can see how much bigger that flame's got. Now I'll increase more air. You may hear the blower kick up. Pretty good little flame going in there. Light gets white. Well, a bright yellow flame down there. Kick her back down a little bit. Get my oil turned back up. I shut it off because it was filled up. I don't get this going real quick the flame will go out okay so that's what's nice about this particular valve I have here it's so fine that's why you don't want a ball valve because you can't you can't tune it fine enough it's real hard let's get a regular needle valve and you'll be fine if you're building one of these Drip going. I guess see if you can see it there. That's about where I run it. That's where we were when we started. So Alright, this video's getting kinda long, so hope that helps. If you guys have any questions I can maybe help you out with or comments you can help me out with, that'd be great like share and subscribe to my channel sure appreciate it thanks bye